Welcome guys, in this video I will be identifying the best EV stock that you should buy now for 3x to 10x growth potential. After analyzing the growth potential of 3 hot EV stocks, namely Tesla, NIO and XPeng, I will be ranking each stock with reference to their short term and long term growth potential, so you can make your investment decisions accordingly. I bet that you do not want to miss a single second of this video because it's filled with only quality research and information. Just a quick request, do like the video if you enjoy the content. Also, consider supporting the channel by joining through Patreon. I post weekly guides for our favorite stocks like Tesla, NEO, and WKHS. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First on the list is XPeng Incorporated, ticker symbol XPEV. XPeng designs, develops, manufactures, and markets smart electric vehicles in the People's Republic of China. For those of you who are wondering why XPeng crossed NEO, here are three reasons that XPEV crossed NEO and from now on, will most likely stay ahead of NEO. Remember, watching completely is key to understanding the investment opportunity. I promise to deliver quality research work only. First, I'll quickly share the latest news. XPeng launched its limited edition P7 wing sedan with scissor doors. Design looks awesome. Could this be the Tesla or Neo killer in China? Also note that XPeng will be launching another mass market sedan in 2021 to tackle competition. The first reason and the differentiating factor that sets XPeng apart from other EV manufacturers like Neo is that XPeng has an annual installed capacity of 100k vehicles annually and additional manufacturing capacity of 150k vehicles through its partnership with Haima Automotive. You will be surprised to know that XPeng is currently working on another expansion plan to increase its in-house manufacturing capacity to 250k vehicles in 2022. Wonder why XPeng is increasing its production capacity to these high levels? Phil, the answer is simple. Due to massive demand of its mass market P7 sedan among the Chinese middle class population, XPeng launched its sedan in last week of June 2020 and as of October 31st, have sold 8,639 sedans. Point to be noted is that P7 sedan was launched in late June this year, meaning a strong demand is there and we will see even higher numbers going forward. Recently, XPeng launched a limited edition P7 sedan which looks hot as hell and will be a monster seller. Remember, China has a middle class population of 400 million people, meaning the target market of XPeng is huge and soon, they will need huge production capacity to keep pace with the demand. Capturing just 1% of the total 400 million market will mean 4 million vehicles annually. The same point is also highlighted by many investment firms. JP Morgan Chase expects XPeng to dominate mass market EV segment of China in the near future. Also note that XPeng was established in 2015 and started delivering vehicles in December 2018 with its G3 SUV and just recently launched its mass market sedan P7 in June 2020. And since the launch of the sedan, the whole fundamental story of XPeng has changed completely. Now the third reason is the most interesting. XPeng was able to report positive gross margins in its latest third quarter report. Positive gross margins in just 1% major quarter of production is a huge achievement. It took Tesla and NIO years to report positive gross margins. So XPeng is most likely to be running on some solid grounds as compared to Tesla and NIO. Now let's discuss the short term and long term target prices. Well, according to technical charts, the short term target is $65, albeit with the short term a hiccup is likely. For long term, XPeng needs to execute its business plan with perfect execution. Mass market sedan is a good option, but continuous model launch is necessary. And I have a full belief in the management after seeing the limited edition winged P7. If sales take shape as expected, then XPeng can beat NIO in China in terms of sales due to its preemptive production capacity. XPeng can be worth 300 plus over the next 4 to 5 years. Second on the list is Tesla stock. Remember, watching completely is key to understanding the whole thesis. I will discuss growth drivers, unique business segments, and then short-term and long-term price targets, so you can make your choice. First, I will discuss the world domination strategy of Tesla, and then other business segments of Tesla that most investors ignore. But these businesses offer huge upside for Tesla, 
For example, Tesla can launch ride-hailing service with better margins than any other company in the world. First, let's discuss the world domination strategy of Tesla. Tesla as a company has never been in a better position before than it is in today. Tesla is primed for world domination in EV industry. Wonder how? Just look at the EV adoption timelines around the world, and then match it with Tesla Gigafactories around the world again. Look at the European Union EV adoption deadlines. Norway will switch to full electric vehicles by 2025, Sweden by 2030. Similarly, Denmark and the Netherlands, Ireland, Iceland, Slovenia, and now even the UK is also planning to completely shift to electric vehicles. Soon, France and Germany are expected to upgrade their 2040 target dates to ban gasoline car sales, just like the UK did from 2035 to 2030. Tesla has a gigafactory coming online in Europe in one year. Tesla is also primed to capture a sizable chunk of the world's largest EV market. Every second EV in the world is sold in China. Tesla's Gigafactory is already operational in China and primed to capture at least 10% of the total 15 million electric vehicles target market by 2030. Now let's talk about the hometown of Tesla, the US market. So far, there isn't any credible offering by any company to rival Tesla. Tesla has almost two to five years lead over any existing company. It has turned to a cult-like following. Whenever you think of electric vehicles, the first thing that comes to your mind is Tesla. California is planning to ban the sale of gasoline cars by 2035, and I believe that other states will follow soon. And now, with this change of government, Tesla will enjoy favorable laws that promote electric vehicles. Now let's discuss the unique business segments of Tesla. I want to clear one thing. Tesla is not a car company. I mean, not just a car company. Tesla can see giant growth ahead from energy storage business. Also, Tesla can beat ride-hailing companies in a jiffy. Read this excerpt from an article of Tasha Keeney of ARK Investment Management. In addition to AI training data, we believe that a human-driven network would give Tesla four more competitive advantages relative to other ride-hailing players. Lower operating expenses, more efficient financing and insurance, higher trade-in or residual values, and premium prices. Tesla can easily beat Uber or any other company in this and sell vehicles in thousands to its ride-hailing subsidiary, if not millions. Also note, autonomous driving is around the corner and max delay is 12 to 18 months. Autonomous driving will change the whole game. Imagine your Tesla car earning for you while you sleep all night. Autonomous driving can add millions of vehicles to Tesla sales and production worldwide. Now let's discuss the short-term and long-term price targets. Given the short-term catalysts, Tesla can reach 600 by the end of December. Tesla has shifted to a new trend line. Closing above 500 with strong volume will start the next leg of the rally towards 600. And as for the long-term, ride-hailing, autonomous driving, and capturing a major chunk of the world EV market will send Tesla to its pre-split levels of 2000 in the coming years. Of course, this jump won't just come in any year. The price will continue to ride higher as catalysts unfold one by one. Now let's discuss NIO Incorporated. NIO is the market dominator in premium SUV niche in China. So far, NIO's target market is totally different from the tradition rivals. Here are some of the important points related to NIO that every NIO investor must know. NIO's S6 has been the fastest selling electric SUV in China for 13 consecutive months. ES8 has reached the number one in sales this year in the premium electric SUV segment priced above RMB 400,000 in China. NIO has once again ranked highest in any new vehicle quality among all brands. The new order intake in October broke the historic record and exceeded our expectations. NIO targets to expand the overall supply chain production capacity to 7,500 units per month in January 2021 to meet the growing user demand. NIO is set to launch its mass market sedan to compete in the mid-range sedans. NIO will also update about its NIO Pilot 2 autonomous driving tech on NIO Day. I won't talk much about NIO because you must have seen my other videos from $10 all the way up to $54. I have also shown my calculations for my ultimate target price of $300 plus. So far, NIO is almost up by 2,500% in the last 12 months, and no NIO investor is in loss if he or she held NIO for as little as 5 days. Now let's do a comparison of all three companies. Tesla has a short-term upside potential of 22% and a long-term upside potential of 3x. 
Whereas XPeng has a short-term upside potential of 20%, whereas it has a long-term upside potential of 5x in the next 5 years. Similarly, NEO has short-term potential of 15% and a long-term upside potential of 7x from the current levels. Keep in mind that these target prices can change depending on the business execution and new developments. In short, Tesla is better for short-term gains due to the S&P 500 inclusion and NEO for long-term potential. Wonder why Tesla is not the ultimate long-term pick? Because Tesla has already made its monster run. So in terms of percentages, other stocks feel better now. Otherwise, Tesla is the market leader and will remain so. The real difference will come from cracking the robo-taxi code. The first one to crack it will win the massive market.